sacrifice, yeah, some sacrifice is there, whatever we do in life, I think. So we, we have to sacrifice something. You, have, you can sacrifice, um, you know, or you can invest. You can invest money into things. You can earn them back. You can, you can uh, invest a bit of health and sacrifice a bit of health. And you, you might, you know, you might heal your body. But, you know, the biggest sacrifice is time. Um, and me as a family man, uh, wor working full time the entire career as an amateur, uh, I had to sacrifice not seeing my son, for instance, growing up. Um, I was coming from work, drawing off, drawing on off of my of my stuff from work, grabbing my um, training gear and running straight to the gym. Not really seeing my uh, my my son growing up. So each time I was closing the door and I saw him there, I knew that you know I won't be able to turn this. I won't I won't be able to return back time. So. Uh, that's also as a sacrifice. That's my big motivation to really get something of it right now, um, and that really drives me go forward. You know, to uh, to achieve something because I can't really imagine that I, I would need to stop doing this right now after all what I went through. You see, so um, that's probably the only thing. That's the only thing which I can see that I sacrificed. Um, Everything else was enjoyable, you know. I don't, I, I don't regret money. I don't regret a um, few injuries, you know, pain, struggle. That's something I don't really regret. But I slightly regret, you know, that I, I couldn't, I, or I wasn't there, you know, when, you know, he was doing, you know, first things. You know, sometimes, you know, kids, they do something for the first time. So, I, and I was not there. I just got a text message that he did it, or I just saw a video, you know, and I was not there. So, um I won't change that, but I can now at least prove to me and to my family, and also to my son, if he's going to be watching it right one day, um, that daddy was not at home because daddy was uh, manifesting something, you know, was creating something. So that's a big motivation for me. I'd say we want to be on 70, 72 and a half. Is it 72 and a half if we can do it tonight? Um, I'm gonna have a bit of probably you know a glass of water which is like 0.2 or something so I'm gonna get up to 72.7 and um, you know by the morning I'm just gonna be probably another half kilo will be down like you know so coming here I'm gonna be maybe 72 and a two, 72 point two so in the morning I'll have two hours three hours for last two kilo like you know should be good Thursday night was not as hard it was, was not as difficult i kind of i felt like the the weight is it was going down pretty easy and i was still sweating there was not too much struggle on on thursday night um i think so we went down from 77.1 to 72.8 so we we did about four and a half about four and a half kilo uh, it was not too bad but obviously uh thursday night falling asleep hungry and thirsty was pretty challenging, I have to say. Um, and we had to wake up early in the morning, about half six, and we started the second help, um, second round of the of the weight cut of the water cut on uh, at seven, and that was something which was pretty challenging. Like you know, um, going kind of deeper into it, you know, when you start feeling your your kidneys and you know your 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 stomach and your liver is is just um, overheating and. I'm not even talking about the head spins and, you know, like you feel really lightheaded. Um, that was a challenging moment. Uh, we actually got out from a sauna after, I think so it was about half an hour. Uh, I was expecting a good number and we were still 1.2 uh, kilo away, where I kind of felt a bit of a mental challenge more than kind of physical. Um, you know, you get get that kind of, it's not a, really a panic attack or something, you know, it's just like you, you feel that uh, you're already down, you're already um, feeling that, that your body is going through a hardship and there is still a lot uh, to do, there is still a lot to, to lose. So I had my coach with me, you know, which is a really uh, big support and, uh, you know, he was there kind of cheer me up and you know we did it and on the end we were on the on the weight actually on on the spot it was 70.3 kg we did it I, I think so it was quarter to 10 we actually finished the weight cut and uh, when we actually came on the venue we 
uh, weighed in at seven at 69.9 so we were actually 0.4 under what we needed to be so yeah it was difficult but uh, but we did it we did it already before so this was not my first lightweight cut um but this the, the morning definitely the morning friday morning was probably the, the so far the most challenging i experienced but definitely worth it definitely worth it Well, that went pretty well. Um, again, I had uh, a support from 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 coach or from uh, from uh, new me, which uh, is uh, my coach's missus. You know, she she gave us a recipe for uh, some uh, secret juice. You know, <laughs> not Paulo Costa's one, but. Um, yeah, that kind of put me back and we start drinking and, um, you know, I had a food later on, obviously, and uh, within within a couple of hours, I was up by four and a half, five kilo, um, feeling really good, you know. Um, we actually had a bit of uh, kind of light training uh, on the same day and um, it was, you know, I felt really good, like my body was, was moving as I wanted, I was not feeling fatigue and, um, you know, in general, I, you know, I felt good. Um, so that was that was the good part, you know. When when you start feeling that the life is coming into your body and you just uh, you just want to go, you know, that's uh, that's something which which is really enjoyable. You see the you know suddenly once you start drinking and the salts come in, like you 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 start feeling the power of your body. You start seeing colors, you know. Everything gets brighter, and uh, you see, you you actually feel your brain reacts quicker and, 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 and the thoughts are there straight away, you know, and anger is gone, like obviously because each time I'm doing a weight cut, like I, I feel angry, really angry, um, I'm getting annoyed by small things, you know, and uh, this was, uh, this was kind of slowly going away, you know, and I started being myself, so we did it, we did it well, you know, even today I feel like um, we are ready, we are ready to go, you know, the strength is there and yeah, we're looking forward to to that time. I enjoy face-offs for a few different reasons. One, one is obviously you, you want to see uh, in the front of you, you know, who you are going to be fighting. You want to see how, how tall he is, you know, how, how he's standing, what his what is his body move, uh, movement, like body body language is, you know, it's showing it's showing a lot about the fighter and. Uh, then I'm looking into the eyes, you know, and eyes, they don't lie, you know, eyes, they usually tell the truth, you know, so you can be pretending, you can have a different face, but when you're looking into someone's eyes, you know what's there, you know, if the fire is there, you can feel it, you know, so that's what I'm looking at, like, I'll tell you one thing, like, I had, uh, I had two, I had three fights, actually, just right after the pandemic, there was no face-offs, and I really miss it. You know, I really missed it. It was it was something I, I felt like we just met on the on the medicals, you know, and then around in the you know like between the warming areas, and then in the in the fight, and I just felt like that 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 piece was missing, you know, that I actually can look into the, my opponent's eyes night before, you know, so we can feel each other, and then once we are in the cage, like you know, it's just then then the the, the physical challenge and uh, competition is coming. So. I think it's really important. It's, it's a part of the game. It's a part of the the actual fight, you know. Um, just to read again, to read how how my, how my opponent is reacting, how he's looking at me, you know. If 
he's if he can feel a bit of fear there, you know, if he's really ready, you can you can feel that as well, you know. Both drives me going forward, you know. If you feel someone kind of be kind of you know going backwards, you see okay, he's he's hesitating. Or if we see someone, you know, he's ready, then you know okay, I need to be ready as well. So it's really good to know, you know, into which what, what kind of water we're gonna step into. So yeah, I enjoy I enjoy face offs. <laughs> Friday itself, it's already, you know, I, I, I kind of looked on the Friday that everything's done already, you know. On Friday, it's just, you just go into that exactly as you said, like you wake up in the morning, you're trying to get some nice food, you know, which uh, brings some energy and then you, you go into the venue, you know, you, you, you check the cage, you walk in, you kind of, you know, you test the, the battlefield before the battle. Um, obviously medicals, then the, 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 the wrapping up. It's, it's all like, it's, it's like a chain then, you know, it's just, you don't even realize how and suddenly you're there, you know, in the zone and you're fighting. So uh, the, the, whole, the, whole, the whole preparation, I would call like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a series of, of the, what you call them? Um, when, you have when you have a serial, See, it's like a it's like an episode. exactly episodes. So you have you have a lot of episodes in one season. So this each fight for me or the preparation with the fight on the end, it's it's like a season. So this is the final episode, you know, that fight day. Um, and usually, you know, what happens in the final episode? You know, all the best, all the all the good things, like you know, everything's gonna be revealed, like you know, all the secrets and what we were waiting for. You know, it happens on the on the final episode. So. That's that's how I feel about the about the fight day. It's exciting. Sometimes I'm like on the roller coaster, you know. I get excited, then I get a bit nervous, then I get excited again, then I'm thinking, then I'm I'm saying to myself, I don't need to think too much, you know. But again, then once once I'm closer and closer to the fight, all those emotions are gone, and I'm just, you know, I feel that I'm in the present moment, and I'm I'm ready to, you know, to go. And 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 as closer I get, as more impatient I get. And, and I want to be there, you know, so it happened to me actually two, two fights ago, like I was like, there was still two, three fights before me and I was like, I want to go now, like, you know, and I was like, I, I can't wait anymore, like, because I, I, I could feel that fire inside, so uh, fight day is, yeah, the most interesting day from the, from the entire fight camp, because that's, that's, that's the final line. He's mainly kind of, he's, he's wild striker. Um, he likes to high kick. Um, he uses straight punches. Uh, he really telegraphs, which which his with with his jab. You know, when you, you see that the jab coming when it's coming, um, definitely long reach. He's much higher than me, like taller. I mean, uh, so um, I just need to I just need to watch that. Um, I don't think that wrestling wise he can match me. So that's something which we'll be focusing on. Maybe you know, pressure him against the cage and. Um, take him down um, he might be a bit dangerous on the ground there as well because you know with long long legs and long hands like the he can wrap it over the rubber guard he's using a lot looking for for the triangle or, or arm bar um, so I just need to be careful down there but overall I feel that I'm better fighter everywhere I think so I can be standing with him and you know I would I would beat him even in stand-up I think so I would beat him in grappling so but uh want to return back home to my family so i want to do it you know uh, quick and uh, secure the the win so we're, we're just going to push him against the cage that's that's my prediction and um, we're going to take him down control him there and finish the fight 100 percent, 100 percent. i don't see it going like we are ready we have a, i have the best conditioning so far i ever had so we were we were doing fives, we were doing five fives, we were doing five fives with fresh guys. So you know the shark tanks. I, I had a, I had a good mixture of um, really uh, re really good competitors in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, I had a um, 
champion uh, in Thai boxing um, in Ireland, you know, kind of pushing the pace on me. Uh, in stand-up, I had uh, some solid wrestlers there, you know, young and strong and explosive guys, you know, putting pressure on me where it comes to, to a wrestling. So, you know, when from any corner, from any area, if you look at it, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm ready. And I just don't think he's going to be able to handle pressure I'm going to create. So I think my prediction is not more than three rounds. Right now, when I'm looking into it, it's still, it's still like a dream a bit, you know, because I know that I worked hard for it and there is a lot of work behind me, but still it's in, in a main event and, you know, it just, it just happened so quickly that I'm not even able to kind of ac accept it or... Uh, yeah, it feels good. If it, if it comes to emotion, it feels good on one side, another side, huge responsibility, a bit of pressure as well, you know. I have a lot of people there, they'll, they'll come, I, I, I know them, they know me. Uh, so I feel that I have to show and I have to prove that, you know, I'm just not a random guy who just, you know, was picked from the street or I'm just not the one which just wish for things, but I work hard for it. So again answer, and to answer your question how it feels it feels amazing and same it feels like um, I have to prove that I'm the one who deserves that shot you know? that it's my turn now.